Uh, I guess this is the wrong PDF. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I must ma- uh, match this from your textbook. I seem to have downloaded the wrong PDF. I think. Okay, questions are entirely different in this one. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's not. De- it's Devashim. Okay. But uh, it is the PDF of Chapter Two: Linear Equation in One Variable of Class Eight. If I open this, okay. Sorry for the ad. It's it's okay, sir. Yeah, if I open this, this chapter is opening. Yeah. Uh, but in previous class we took another chapter. Okay. Sir. Okay, just give me a minute. Let me search for the PDF. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, I must got the PDF. Okay. okay Actually, the application from where I downloaded the PDF, it uh, there's some glitch in there. Okay, it's not opening there. So we have the web version here. Okay. So second question, right? Uh, from book it was yes, example number eleven. Yes, okay, sir. this question. Devishi has a total of five ninety rupees as currency. Okay, yes, notes sir. in the denomination of rupees fifty, twenty, and ten rupees. Okay, yes. so Devishi has total five hundred ninety rupees here. Okay, and uh, the amount is in the form of fifty rupees, twenty rupees, and ten rupees. Okay. Now the ratio of the number of fifty rupees notes and twenty rupee notes is three is to five. Okay. Okay. Further question says that if she has a total of twenty five notes, how many notes of each denomination she has? Okay. Now further it says that in total she has twenty five notes. Okay. Total amount she is having is how much? Rupees five ninety. Okay, and how many notes she has? It is she has got twenty five notes, right? Yes, yes, and sir. the ratio of rupees fifty and rupees rupees twenty notes is in the is three is to five. Three. Okay. Okay. So fifty is to twenty, fifty rupee notes, and this is twenty rupee notes. Their ratio is how much? Three is to five. 
now you need to calculate the number of each notes here okay you need to tell how many notes are there of 50 rupees how many notes are there of 20 rupees and how many notes are there of uh, of 10 rupees here so if you read here what we did here what uh, they have done here they have taken the number of rupees 50 notes and 20 notes to be 3x and 5x okay let's solve this okay so we will first take the ratio to be x here okay so we are solving example number 11 here okay let's take the ratio to be x here ratio of what ratio of 50 rupees and 20 rupees notes here okay okay first write few other things which is given in the question okay what is given in question total amount is how much it is rupees 590 right 590 okay yes sir no and ratio of rupees 50 and rupees 20 notes as given in the question is 3 is to 5 okay yes and denomination of notes are what denomination of notes there are three types of notes here yes, 50 notes rupees 20 and rupees 10 notes here okay now what we will do we will assume the ratio of 50 and 20 rupee notes to be x in the form of x let's let's assume the ratio of rupees 50 and rupees 20 notes as x so they will become what it will be 3x and 5x okay yes sir okay well, let me write it more clearly so that it becomes very simpler for you to understand rupees 50 notes we will take it as 3x okay and rupees yes. 20 notes is 5x here look why we have taken the ratio in the form of x here Ahmed, is the reason is because we don't know the exact number of notes here okay yes. look 3 is to 5 it might be like 3 multiplied 2 to 5 multiplied 2 it could be 6 upon 10 also right it could be yes. 9 upon 15 also so the simplest ratio is given here that the ratio of 50 and 20 rupees notes they are divided in the ratio of 3 is to 5 but yes. there could be 6 notes of 50 and 10 notes of 500 there could be 9 notes of 3 uh, 50 9 15 notes of 20 here so we don't know the exact number so we say that let's assume the ratio to be x so we have taken as 3x and 5x so far this is clear yes sir okay then let's proceed further now see the question says that the total amount given here is rupees 590 yes sir the total amount given here is 590 so can yes, we say sir. so can we say that 3x plus 5x okay and plus you see there's one more note given and uh, one more uh, denomination of note given in the question if you see see here there is rupees 10 note given also here <clears throat> okay yes sir <clears throat> right so what we can say that the number of 10 rupees notes it can be found out also here we will find out like this yes sir 
okay we just found out that the number of five no of uh, 50 rupee notes we have taken as 3x 20 rupee notes we have taken as 3x <clears throat> now what about 10 rupee notes one it can be taken as see the question rupees 10 notes it could be written like this 25 See, the question says one more thing that the total number of notes given is 25. Yes, okay. Sir. So from 25, if you minus the number, if you minus the number of 50 rupees and 20 rupees notes, you will get the remaining note that will be of 20 rupees. Uh, that will be of 10 rupees here. Yes, sir. That will be 25 minus 3x plus 5x. Okay. So okay. that is going to give you 25 minus so 3x plus 5x added here gives you 8x. Yes, sir. So rupees 20 notes we have got as 25 minus 8x here. Okay. Yes. Now, we have got the number of different notes here. Okay, right. Yes, sir. So this is 10 rupee notes. Now, what we will do, see in the question it says that total amount is rupees 590 is 590 rupees here okay now if you here you are provide uh, here we have assumed the number of 50 rupees notes to be 3x if you were to find out the amount of 50 rupees notes can we find out simply by multiplying 3x and 50 um no sir look if I see that I give you five notes of rupees 10. So how do you find the total amount? You simply multiply five with 10. Yes, so that gives you 50 rupees. Yes, so similarly, the number of 50 rupee notes is here. 3x. 3x is basically the number of 50 rupee notes. If I were to ask you how much is total amount here? So you simply multiply 3x and 50 here. Yes, Emma, that's how yes, we sir. find out. So it will be, yes, it will be 50 multiplied 3x. Okay. So okay. amount of rupees 50 is 50 into 3x. Now find out about the amount of rupees 20. How much it is going to be? Amount of 20. Um, amount of rupees 20 notes here. Um, I See here, the number of 20 rupee notes is here, 5x. Yes, sir. Okay. So if you were to calculate the total amount of rupees 20 notes, we can simply multiply it with 5x and you will get the value. Yes, sir. Pay attention here. The example which I quoted here that if I give you five notes of rupees 10 and I ask, ask you to count the total value to tell me the total value. So you simply multiplied five with 10 here. Similarly, yes, sir. I give you five X notes of five X notes of rupees 20. So how do you calculate the value? You simply multiply 5x with 20. Yes, sir. Yes, Ahmed. So here yes, it sir. is. It is what? 20 multiplied. 5. 20 multiplied 5x. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Now what about amount of rupees 10 here? Amount of rupees 10. We found out the number of rupees 10 notes to be 25 minus 8x. This is your number of 10 rupee notes. Okay, Ahmed. Okay. Okay. Applying the same method which we applied for rupees 50 and rupees 20, we can simply multiply 25 minus 8x by what? 25 minus 8x. Uh... Why? By 10 rupees. Yes. Okay. Look, let me revise this again for you. Okay. I give you 
I give you five notes of 10 rupees. So the total amount is 50. Here, the total number of 10 rupee notes is how much? 25 minus 8x. It is the number of 10 rupee notes. Number of rupees 10 notes. Okay, yes. so I gave you 25 minus 8x number of rupees 10 notes. So to calculate the total amount of rupees 10, how will, what will you do? You will simply multiply both of them. So it yes, will be sir. 10 multiplied 25 minus 8x. Okay, so it is what? 10 multiplied 25 minus 8x. Okay, now we can further simplify them. Okay, so 50 multiplied 3x will give you? 15 multiplied by? 3x. 3x. Um... Forty-five. Ahmed, this is very disappointing. I'm asking you to multiply fifty with three x, and you are coming up with the answer of forty-five. Oh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, one fifty. One fifty x. Remember, there's a variable here also. Remember how we multiply a constant and a variable. If you are provided with x and a value two. If you are asked to multiply them, it will be 2x. Okay. And yes, if the value is 2x, then it is 4x. Okay. So don't forget about the variable. So it is going to be 150. 150x. 150x. Okay. Now this one. 20 multiplied 5x. Okay, or twenty multiplied five x. Uh, one hundred. One hundred. What about x here? Will you forget him? Forget mm, the value. X. You need to write it x here also. Okay, now this one is tricky here. Ten multiplied twenty five minus eight x. Okay, find this one. Okay, sir. Ten yeah, solve this one. Okay, sir. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna solve this in, in a notebook. Uh, 250x 250x yes. <clears throat> did you forget about the distributive property of uh, multiplication over subtraction like oh. if you provided with the value like this a multiplied b minus c okay are these number not in this form a multiplied b minus c so how did we write them a multiplied b that is a b then a multiplied with c a c a and in, in between comes the minus sign so we did it like this now so 10 multiplied yes, sir. 25 um, minus 8x what it will be 80 uh, 80x and 250x minus 50x. it has to be like this now First, you multiply 10 with 25. In between comes minus sign. Then you multiply 10 with 8x. 10 multiplied 8x. The answer is like this. 250 minus 80x. Okay. This is your yes. answer. So this is 250 minus 80x. Okay. Now, what do we need to do now? We have got the amount of rupees 50 notes here. We have got the amount of rupees 20 and 10 notes here also. And the question says that the total amount is 590. So if we were to add these three values, will it not be equal to 590? If we add these, uh, it, uh, it 
it would be it would be look if i give you 5 rupees coin i give you 10 rupee coins okay and in total let's say i give you 100 rupees okay and we find out the total uh, uh, total amount of 5 rupees coins to be 50 and you yes. find out the number of total 10 uh, 10 rupee coins to be 50 so if you add these two value do you not get 100 Mm. This is five rupees coin. Okay, so, this is ten yeah. rupee coin. Okay, mm. so the total uh, total five rupee coins is fifty. Amount of five rupee coin is fifty. I'm not talking about number. I'm talking about the amount. Okay. Uh, If you it, count the it, value of five rupee coins, it is fifty. Yes. Okay. And if you count the amount of total ten rupee coins, it becomes it is fifty. So if you add these two value, do you not get hundred? You will get hundred. Okay, the so same thing applies here also. Okay, Ahmed. So you are provided with amount of rupees fifty to be it is one hundred fifty x. Similarly, amount of rupees twenty notes is hundred x, and we found out the amount of rupees twenty note to be two fifty minus eight x. Yes, Ahmed. Okay. Okay. It is. Now separately, uh, separately we have found the values here. Now, if we add these three values, that is, amount of rupees fifty plus amount of rupees twenty plus, I'm writing in short, TMT, amount of rupees ten, will it not be equal to total amount? It it will be, sir. Yeah, it has to be. So the amount of rupees fifty given here is one fifty x. Yes, sir. What about amount of rupees twenty we calculated? Uh, one hundred. One hundred x, not hundred. It is one hundred x. Okay, and what about amount of rupees ten notes? Two fifty minus eighty x. So it is two fifty minus eighty x. Okay. Now, if you add these three amount, it it should be equal to the total amount. What is the total amount given in the question? Five ninety. It is rupees five ninety. Okay. Now solve this. Okay, you have to solve this. Okay. If you have any problem, I will explain it. Okay. First, add these three values. Okay. And tell me what value you got. Um. Okay. Okay. First, you need to add the like terms. Okay, the terms which look similar to each other. Okay, add those terms which have got the variable x. First, add these uh, values. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, it it it. Uh, yes, Ahmed. First, what you need to do, you need to add one fifty x, one hundred x, yes, and minus fifty x. Add these three value. Okay. There are two fifty. We, we I I did it's two fifty x x and minus eighty plus minus minus. Okay. By the way, uh, Ahmed, what is five x plus six x? 
5x plus 6x uh, 11x okay okay i was just checking whether you know this or not okay very good okay so it should be also very simple or if if say 5x plus 6x minus 3x then yes sir if i add one more term here minus 3x then it becomes D, uh, then we divide it with the answer of 5x plus 6x we don't need to divide it there is a uh, subtraction sign here uh, yes sir, it's we... minus 3x okay. then what is the answer then the answer would be 9 8 8 8 8x 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 very good it is simply what 11x minus 3x that is 8x okay okay found the found the value of the given equation here found this one um, no sir look it is very simple here first add these three add these two values 150x plus 100x yes and minus them with 80 it is going to be 150x plus 100x 250 so 250x okay minus 80x plus 250 equals to 590 now simply subtract 80x from 250x okay sir One seventy. That is one seventy or one seventy x. One seventy. Each time you forget about the variable, Ahmed. Don't forget about the variable. Okay. So it is yes. one seventy x plus two fifty equals to five ninety. Now what mm -hmm. we will do here? We will transpose the value two fifty to the right side. Okay. Okay. So it will become what? On the right side, it will be. Mine, uh, minus 590 minus 250 yes sir okay now from uh, from here on I, I guess you can find the value of x okay yes sir okay solve this one 240 uh, 170 x equals to 240 and Okay. And then we will um, divide them. We will divide them. Okay. By the way, the value which you found out that 240, is it correct or wrong here? Check again. Oh, okay. It is wrong actually here. You, you are make, doing the basic calculation mistake, Ahmed, here. It has to be 340. Yes, sir, 340. Not 240, okay. Now solve. Do the next step. Uh, yes. X equals to 2. X equals to 2. 2 here, very good. Okay, so now we find out that the value of x was 2 actually. Okay, the ratio which we assumed as x, its value has been found out to be 2 here. Okay. So x has been found out to be 2. Now what the question said, you basically needed to find out the number of different nodes given in the question. Okay, you have to... Uh, Told about uh, you have to find out the number of 50 rupees, 20 rupees, and 10 rupee notes. Okay, now see, we assume the number of rupee 50 notes to be 3x. Okay, yes, sir. So, if we talk about rupees 50 notes, we assumed it to be 3x. So, will it not be equal to 3 multiplied 2 that is 6 since the value of x is yes, 2 here? 3 multiplied 2 here. Okay. So we see that there are 6 nodes of rupees 50. Okay, Ahmed. Now, what about yes, rupees sir. 20 nodes? 
we okay. assume it's number, it's number to be five x here. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So we say that five x it can be written as like this now five multiplied two since we found the value of x to be two so it is ten so there are ten nodes of rupees twenty okay Ahmed yes sir. now what about rupees twenty nodes what was the number we took for rupees ten nodes it was twenty five minus eight x okay Ahmed yes sir so then what will be the number of rupees 10 notes here we will simply put the value of x here okay find out its value uh, okay, okay sir Yes, I will find out the value. Um, yes, I, I, I am finding it right now. Okay. Yes, Ahmed. Ahmed, you're taking too much time. These are very basic calculation here. Okay. Yeah. I've written in the bracket also that it is simply you have to put the value of x here. So we have written it like this: eight multiplied two here. So it is simply going to be twenty-five minus sixteen. Right. So it is nine here. Okay. So nine. So nine is the number of what 10 rupee notes here okay yes, this one has to be 20 nine notes of rupees 10 are there so our answer is what these are your given answer okay rupees, uh the six notes of rupees 10 10 notes of rupees 20 and there are nine notes of rupees 10 okay Ahmed? Yes, sir. okay you can actually verify your answer also okay oh. So, huh? We can we can actually verify you and our answer here also. If you multiply six with fifty, that will give you three hundred. If you multiply ten with rupees twenty, that will give you two hundred. And nine notes of ten, that is ninety. If you add these three value, is it not equal to five ninety? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh... Okay, so that's how we solve this question. I hope there's no confusion. If there's any confusion, I can repeat again. Okay, Ahmed. If there's any confusion left in this question, I can explain it again to you. Yes, Ahmed, got the solution? Got the method of solving this question? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let me rephrase it. That basically what we did, we took the ratio of 50 and 20 rupee notes to be as x here okay x, okay so 50 rupee notes its uh, number became 3x and the 20 rupee notes it became 5x the number of 20 rupee notes we assume it at as 5x and since the total number of notes was given as 25 so when i subtracted the number of 50 and 20 rupee notes from this i got the number of 10 rupee notes here that was 25 minus 8x here Yes, okay sir. now in order to uh, calculate my answer what i did i simply found out the find i simply found out the number of amount of rupees 50 rupees 20 and rupees 10 notes by simply multiplying the given value with their number so i got this also okay now i simply added these three values and equated it 
So the total amount given in the question that was 590. And at last I got the value of X that is 20. And in the starting, we assume the ratio to be X. So we find, uh, since we assume the numbers of different nodes to be 3X, 5X and 25 minus 8X, in them, I put it the value of X and I found out the number of these, these three different nodes. Okay, so that's how we solve the question. Okay, any uh, other confusion with the assignment given to you? No, sir, no, no questions. Okay, you were able to solve the other questions. Okay, sir, I, I so in today's class, we will solve a few more questions. Okay. See question number, you were able to solve question number three? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, very good. What about question number four? See this one? Yes, sir, this one also. Okay. From question number four to till question number 12, see in which question you are having confusion here. <clears throat> See question number five. In this question, there are two numbers in the ratio of five is to three. You don't know the exact number. Their simplest ratio is given here, five is to three. Okay. Yes. So what we will do, we will assume the ratio to be X. So it will be five X and three X. Okay, Ahmed. Okay, so our numbers are five X and three X. Now, if they differ by 18, Differ means if there's a differ word written here, you simply have to assume it to be subtraction. It is talking about subtraction here. So what are the numbers? Look, what, what the question say, is saying here that you are given with two numbers. They are simply in the ratio of five is to three. Okay. Question says that there are two numbers in the ratio whose ratio is five is to three. What is the number? We don't know the number. We don't know. Okay. So when I say that the number is in the ratio of five is to three, it is the question is not specifically mentioning the given number. You don't say the number are five and three. It is the number of the uh, is to the ratio of the two number. The numbers could be like this also. It could be 10 and six also. Okay. Ahmed. Yes, the numbers would be 15 and 9 also. 15 upon 9 also. So if you further simplify it, you will get 5 upon 3. Okay. So 5 upon 3 is the simplified form of the two numbers given. Okay. And question further also says that the difference of two numbers, the difference of numbers is how much? It is 18. Difference of numbers is 18 so you need to find the the numbers here so what we did we assume the ratio of the uh, we assume the ratio to be x here we assume the ratio as x so our numbers will be 5x and 3x okay Yes. Sir. So now question according to question. In short, I am writing it like I am uh, writing it like this. According to question, the difference of the two numbers. So five x minus three x. It says is equal to eighteen. Okay. Why I am not writing three okay. x minus five x? Because obviously five x the greater number out of the two. Okay. So five x minus three x is equal to eighteen. Now, will you be able to solve it further? 5x minus 3x gives you? 5x minus 3x gives you 2x. 2x. So, 2x equals to 18. Now, here, yes. the value of x is going to be 18 upon 2. That is? Yes. That is how much? That is... um. 18 divided by 2, that gives you how much? 
Ahmed, you have to divide eighteen by two. What is your answer going to be? The eighteen by two is sir. Uh, eighteen divided by two is six. What are you doing, Ahmed? You do. These are basic division calculations, and you are doing mistake at that also. If you divide eighteen by two, <clears throat> do you get six or nine? Uh, Our answer here is nine. You need to work on your basics. Okay. Now we have got the ratio, uh, the value of x to be nine here. So what are numbers going to be? Our numbers are going to be. We assume our numbers to be five x and three x. So in five x and three x, you will put the value of x here. So it will be five multiplied nine. That will be forty five. Okay. Yes, sir. We are calculating the numbers here. Yes, sir. Next number was three x. So you put the value of x here. That is three multiplied. Nine that gives you twenty-seven. So the given numbers are, hence, numbers are forty-five and twenty-seven. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay. I... You can actually check, uh, check whether the numbers we have found out is it correct or not. So if you take the ratio, if you divide them forty-five upon twenty-seven. Okay. So is it not going to be equal? Is it not equal to five is to three? Let's check out. Five multiplied, uh, forty-five gets cancelled by five by nine times, and twenty-seven gets cancelled by nine by three times. So here we see that it is equal to five upon three. Okay, so hence our numbers are in the ratio of five is to three, and the numbers are forty-five and twenty-seven. I hope that's clear. Okay, sir. Okay, if that's clear, solve a similar question. Okay. If there's a similar question given here, I will ask you to solve, or let me frame let me frame a question for you. <clears throat> okay, the question is like this: two numbers are in the ratio of one is to two. Okay. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, let's take another value. Let's say in the ratio of two is to five. If their difference is difference is ten, find out the numbers. Find out the numbers. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna take your time and try solving this question. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Ahmed. Any confusion in understanding the question? Is the question clear? Uh, the question is not clear, but it is similar to the above question. Okay, we need to follow the same method which we applied in the previous question. 
okay you simply have to take the ratio in terms of x okay 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 try solving this question if you uh, if you uh, have any problem then i will explain okay uh and one more thing if your answer could be in fraction also so if your answer comes in fractional form then then also it's okay okay oh okay Yes, Ahmed. Um, sir. Um, sir, is it ten uh, upon twenty? Ten upon twenty. Yes, sir. How is it so? How is it? How is it that possible? Look. Did you assume the ratio to be x? no sir let's assume the ratio to be x so our numbers will be what our numbers will be 2x and 5x okay Yes, we sir. assume the ratio to be x so our numbers are going to be 2x and 5x now according to our question a slash q according to our question it says the difference of the number is 10x it is 10 actually it is 10 here this is the difference okay now what we need to do we need to simply subtract the two number 5x minus 2x okay why not 2x minus 5x because we subtract smaller value from the greater value so 5x obviously is greater from 2x so 5x minus 2x is equal to 10 here did you read it like this uh, yes sir, I, uh, I did okay so it is 3x equals to 10 then so x is going to be 10 upon 3 so far this should be your step now Given in the question, it is uh, what we assume that we have find out x here. Now we assume the number to be 2x and 5x. So 2x, you simply put the value of x here to multiply 10 upon 3. That is going to be 20 upon 3. This is your first number. Yes, sir. Okay, another number we assumed as 5x. So it is going to be 5 multiplied what 10 upon 3 did you follow the same method yes Ahmed Ahmed did you follow the uh, same method uh, I I okay. my answer wasn't seen like this though okay where did you went wrong up till x uh, did you found out the value of x to be 10 upon 3 yes sir okay 
Now, what you see that the numbers which you assume it was 2x and 5x. Okay. So you simply need to put the value of x in the given number here and you will get your answer. Okay, Amal. So what I did here, I put it the value of x here. So the value of x which I found out was 10 upon 3. So I simply put it here. So on multiplication, you get it 20 upon 3. That is your first number. Okay. Yes, and similarly, sir. for 5x, I put the value and got the value 50 upon 3. That was my second number. Okay. So that's how you solve it. Okay. I hope that's clear. Okay. Okay, we can, in fact, we can check our number also. If you were to uh, find the ratio of the two values, if you were to divide these two values, 20 upon 3 and 50 upon 3, you will find its ratio in the form of 2 is to 5. Okay, you can check that also. Now, I want you to solve, uh, I want you to see question number 6 here. Okay, here. You are provided with three consecutive integers add up to 51. What are these integers? Okay. The question says that there are three integers, three consecutive integers. Three consecutive integers up to 51. Three consecutive three. integers adds up to 51 okay is the screen lagging can you see the screen properly find the integers okay now what do you understand by the word consecutive ammo uh, oh. Consecutive, uh, how to explain it? Yeah. Consecutive means continuous numbers. One, yes. two, three, four. Okay. Non-stop. That's, uh, that's uh, what do you understand by non-stop number? Continuous number. Yes, sir. So there are three consecutive integers. When they are added, you get the value 51. You need to find out the integers. So let's solve this one. How we do this? Let's assume first integer to be x here. So what is my second integer going to be? If I say write three consecutive integers. So do you, you simply write it like this? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes, How did you write this? You simply so first wrote one, then you wrote one plus one, that is two. Then you yes, added one plus two. Then you got three, then one plus three, you got four. Similarly, we will add in the first integer to be x. And then for second integer, we will add one to x. Okay, Ahmed. Okay. What about third integer? Yes, Ahmed, third integer, is it, it is going to be? Hello. Yes, Ahmed. Yes, sir. I'm yeah. Sorry. Look, just like how we found out the consecutive integers like this one, one plus one that gave you two, then one plus two, which gave you three, and so on. We, you got four. So our first integer we calculated, we assume to be x. For consecutive next integer, we simply added one to it. Then afterwards, afterwards you will add two to x. So these are your three consecutive integers. I hope there's no confusion in understanding this. If you understood Sorry, this, no. then it's very simple further on. So now you need to add these three values and equate it to 51. As the question says that now according to question, what we need to do is simply need to add these three values So add them x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 that should be equal to 51 okay now i guess you can do it very uh, easily okay 
So you simply add these three X's here. That will be what X plus X plus X and add one and two. That will be one plus two equals to 51 here. So that should be three X plus three equals to 51. Right, Ahmed? Yes, sir. Okay. Now here you transpose the value three to the right side. So it is going to be Yes, Ahmed, quickly. Yeah, 51 minus. 51, uh, 51 minus 3, sir, it would be 48. 48, very good. Now, from here, the value of x is going to be what? Be quick in basic, uh, basic calculations. Upon, yes, sir, 48 yeah. upon 3. Which is equals to um, 